once again it's time for sports orbit my name is afa chung salifu swan is also in the studio too salifu welcome to sport orbit thank you afa for the privilege all right we'll all right. begin this edition so we'll quickly go on a break and when we come back sport orbit continues Ship and advert placements. Please contact 080-3688-6158. Last Word Leadership Podcast Studio. You have the last word. All right, welcome back from that break. So four, we'll begin straight from the under-17 AFCON currently taking place in Algeria. Of course, yesterday we gave you a preview of that very important clash between the Golden Eaglets of Nigeria and the Young Atlas Lions of Morocco. And just like we had said here, both teams going into this uh, match were seen as, you know, the two teams who will be the favorites to top this group. But currently, except uh, something happens on, on the side of Nigeria, it's going to be quite a difficult one because yesterday Morocco defeated Nigeria 1-0 in that one and the coach of the golden eagles Nduka Ubadri, has promised that nigeria is going to bounce back when they take on south africa on sunday Salifu looking at this what we have said a lot about the moroccans and i mean the moroccans are already in the quarterfinal while for nigeria we still have to wait till saturday when
Sports Orbit. We make the world go round. All right, we apologize for that sudden break in transmission due to some technical issues, but we'll get back to the show. We were talking about the Golden Universal Liverpool, Nigeria losing to Morocco, like you said, you know, an error that happened early stages of the match, and somehow we couldn't score. Like, like I said, in the first game when I watched the Golden Eagles, very good plays, you know, their ball distribution, very skillful set of players. But I've noticed, uh, even in yesterday's game, when they are finishing, there is problem with the striking department. Yeah, there's, which a, must there, there's a problem with the poor finish. Mm. And uh, even though uh, good English were their own on doing yesterday, yeah. scored again with themselves. And they created several chances. Mm. I wish we would have given up. We even forget, yeah. forget that we scored over mm. go against ourselves. But unfortunately, the guys were not able to take their chances. They missed several chances. They hit the bar. And at the same time, I also give kudos to the Moroccan the goalkeeper. Who was also outstanding in the, yeah. in the match, the main thing that called the threat and everything, oh. uh, push, it, uh, push, push it away. And uh, it is so really unfortunate that we found ourselves in this place. But my only prayer is I am just praying because it is going beyond what we are going to see on the pitch now. We uh, exactly. have to resolve to God because the Nigerians were very, were very, very faithful. Oh. And God will just decide we will always believe that God will come to our rescue all the time. And we are still hoping that God will do us a favor because. I can't see these these crops of players just being wasted the way we, oh. just being wasted the way. But anything short of qualification for the World Cup, what man can just like we say yes, in this program will be just what will come, will come, will come yes. to an end, yeah. and nobody will remember this thing again. Exactly. They'll just go into oh. uh, to oblivion, oh. and which we, we don't hope so. And now we are, we have found ourselves in a very bad situation. Yeah. The last match against South Africa is a must win. It, it's a must win, and it's going. And also South Africa also are also hoping to win that yeah. match. And if you're looking at the match, if South Africa play Jambi, we play Jambi, we score only one goal. Yeah. South Africa plays against Jambi, they score three yeah. goals. Score three goals. That oh. means in, the, in terms of effective goal and, and in front of goal, they are more effective than oh. we. So far, we have only managed to score one goal and concede, uh, concede, score one goal and concede one goal. And, and against South Africa, score three, uh, score, score three goals against a Jambi that we could not score more than one goal. Oh. And although they also concede two goals, they also concede two goals. Why would we concede against Jambi? It's another, uh, another, another uh, credit to our side. But in any game between Nigeria and South Africa is always a top match yeah. because South Africa has always seen Nigeria as a threat. Uh, in lot of the recent, in, at all levels of the South Africa has always find it difficult to beat Nigeria. Yeah. On the recent, when they, when they defeated Super Eagle in the U, 2 0 and since then, they have been able to get their part of flesh on the Super Eagle. And even, even the, the women, they yeah. don't forget it, what happened at the Super Falcon, the Super Falcon, Aisha Tony, and then even at the uh, a woman yeah, yeah, exactly. in Morocco. So we need to be very, very careful and we need to hold the but they need to do more work. Uh, I, I always I always admire his style of coaching, I always admire his style of discipline, but he needs to talk more to his player. Because that mistake yesterday was unnecessary. And at the same time, failing to take our chances yesterday is not something that powerful. I mean, if we play the same way we play, if we continue going like this, we may not progress, the, we may not progress beyond this. this uh, 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 stage of the world, so which I pray it will be, and for the boy, body, as, as a person said, it will be very disastrous for him yeah. if he couldn't mm. if he couldn't get his boys mm. beyond mm. Be, beyond this beyond. I'm not even talking about qualifying for quarter final, qualify for the quarter for the quarter beyond this competition mm -hmm. because a, a whole lot of the much is more is expected of him, and even the, the leadership of Nigeria for the world for relations, even despite our uh, our inability to win or that to have one. After we lost the uh, after another twenty uh, with the Ladan boss and the but people now we resolve that way. On a seventh day came here, we took put the company in charge, we are going to win. Yeah. And here we are, and it's, well, it's beginning it's to look as if we are strong holding. The last match against South Africa, yeah. we need to do more. We need to do more because that match is very, very key. Very and key, South yeah. Africa also very going to very come up very smoothly yeah. against us. Yeah. Yes, of course, talking about these South Africans. Well, yesterday, South Africa had to, you know, bounce back from that first leg uh, defeat to Morocco by defeating their fellow uh, South African rival Zambia. 3-2 it was in that one. And for South Africa, you know, I didn't see that coming. Never expected South Africa to be that clinical against the Zambians. And we, like you said, will be confronting the South Africans on Saturday. I mean, like we said, so far we've just scored one goal in this competition. South Africa have scored three, but of course also considered uh, more goals. But, you know, I wasn't 
uh, privileged to watch this match yesterday, so I can't really assess the South Africans, you know, they are technical. But looking at this encounter, do you think uh, Nkukan Bade will be able to marshal his boys to ensure that we get all three points? Because this is a must win for Nigeria. Yeah, if, 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 if you look if you look at the, the way the good English has played so far, mm. uh, uh, apart from the mistake that I considered yesterday, the mis mistake that happened yesterday, mm. which is also part of the game, mm. part of football, mm. mistake are bound to happen with any football, even at the high level or the slow level, sometimes it, it's bound to happen. Mm. But I want if you look at if you look at this game team, apart from their inability to finish where they are all finishing like in the front of goal, if you, defensive wise, the I, I think they are the best you, you give them kudos. They have defended well so far in this competition. Oh. After making that mistake yesterday in the, in the first two minutes of the match, the, the, the defense was also solid, maintaining their uh, resilience throughout the game. And so far, if you look at it, they just considered one goal. And uh, also, you know, they are inability to score one goal, which is a very serious issue. I'm looking at. But I'm looking at that quickly. Looking at that team now, for the first two matches they have played, and the first two matches the South Africans have played. If you're looking at this side by side now, South Africa have played two first two matches, because it's four goal oh. and four three goal. Oh. By all standards, they still have minus one goal against the trip. Oh. Okay, Nigeria has played two match, score one goal, or sit one goal. Ultimately, we are still in terms of goal aggregating, in, in, in terms of by standards, we are still ahead of South Africa. We are still second on the law. Oh. By, by we are still second on the law on the table oh. with three points oh. the same point South Africa. Oh. But because of the minus goal difference against South Africa, oh. we are still on top of them yeah. you know, on the second law. And going to the first match, I'm not, I'm, I'm not, I'm not in any way wish to have them settle for a draw. But, it, but, but will a draw, a draw will automatically be good for us. A, a draw automatically would see Nigeria through. Okay. Because if you score a draw, we will oh. we'll have the same point with South oh. Africa. But, but for consumers, it will go different because of the yeah. minus go at even against South Africa. Yeah. Yeah. But it is better, oh. we, it is better to play safe all out win. and go all out win. Yeah. Because we, yeah, if you are central at home, yeah. so let, let me just defend and consider South Africa to play draw. It may, it, may be, it may be kind of rocking. So obviously, Obukan is but he needs to work more on his boys to get to score goal. Exactly. Because, I mean, because you can't you can't win a match if you don't if you don't score goal. Even the mistake that happened against him, if we have taken the chances, if you if you look at that the statistics of the match that today so far, if you look at it, we have better goal pitches, some better goal yeah. opportunities to score goal. Yeah. But we couldn't take that chances, and which is very heavy to everybody. I know because about it, and they still need to talk more on that issue. Exactly, and when you look at the fact that the Kulum score more, is it that lack of strikers? Because going into this tournament, when you know the profiles of these boys were given, there's a certain I can't remember his name who is a striker. A lot of things were said about him. Well, we always have that issue of beginning to compare players. In fact, some I read in some papers, some some report even began to consider the boy. He was called the new Osimen. You know, and there's this guy who also plays in the midfield, I can't remember his name, who is being called the new Okocha. But you see the problems with beginning to give players all these kind of tags. Sometimes does it weigh on them? Because the new seven, I was hoping to see a vibrant player who will be banging in goals, but I'm yet to, to really see him play. Yeah, yeah, well, if you look at that, this this crop, look at this team. Prior from the, uh, the West African oh. World Tournament that they played in the year, yeah. uh, which they won, oh. uh, the, the, the boys were fantastic. Oh. Uh, they, they, were, they were not shining away in front exactly. of them. But I wonder what has happened. Where, where, uh, they, are they Afri they, where we are now is an improvement, is yeah. an improvement exactly. level on, compared, on to what, yeah. compared to Wafu. Yeah. Uh, what, what we have now is, is uh, uh, an assemble of champions exactly. from various, Different, yeah. from various yeah. regions. So we expected yeah. more stiffer competition for than what we have at the West at the West African level. But at the West African level they were fantastic in front of the way But I don't know what has happened here where they were the the opener has been able to succeed and close the all their wings and they couldn't penetrate to the point of being that the defense of the opener the score group. But I still hoping I still hope that uh when whether we come against against South Africa, I hope because South Africa has improved significantly at all level of at all level of football because we're in terms of structures and everything, they have better structures and better training program for their youth academy for their youth yeah. football than what we have in here. What we have is just uh, what, 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 what do I do? This cash and carry or a brigadier approach, a brigadier approach that they prefer a brigadier approach to just assemble players within, within a limited time. Oh. And we hope that Nigeria is always Nigeria. What we always do is Nigeria spirit that is always we all try to rely on. 
But let's go. It's going to be uh, Saturday between now and Saturday. Oh. We are talking about Africa about two days to two, two day, two days. today and it's oh. Oduga, but they say half today. Oh, they still have to today have tomorrow mm -hmm. to perfect the like plan and perfect the strategy. Yeah. Okay. You also need to watch what South Africa have been. the last two matches that Africa yeah. has played to know their own weakness and the weaker point. Because South Africa are all going to do the same to him yeah. to know yeah, closely. Yeah. And if you need to change the team, you need to change and you need to. I think what if 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 I should have opportunity, if you need to do is for me, if I'm in still it's who used to be, not minding the the match the players, you not to rest on the players. Split the team, split the team, split the, 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 the team into two teams. Oh. Let them play a full 90 minutes against themselves. Yeah. So, more obviously, oh. who and who are good. All right. I will go over now to some athletics where four teams Nigeria so far so good. Also, uh, currently, this championship on the 20 it is also holding in Zambia, currently, where Nigeria has added more gold medals to. Uh, the ones they won uh, earlier on for uh, Fate of Kose completed a spring double win with a win in the girls' 200 meters in the under 18 category, pairing to a new personal best of 23.31 seconds to take the gold medal. The win came barely 24 hours after she gave Nigeria gold in the under 1800 meters race in a time of 11.53 seconds. Also, for a year. Kobe and Justina Tiana, who also got bronze in 23.60 seconds in the same race. While for triple jump, Nigeria also produced two gold medals through uh, uh, Njoma Fedjuro, who led to 12.69 meters in the under 18 category, while her compatriot Grace Oshioku recorded the best jump of the day to clean gold in 13.3 meters in the under 20 event. Of, co of course, also in the 4 by 400 meters, the quartet of Badajo, Emmanuel, Queen, Oshunbun, Oshunobun, Ajaiba, Mdele, and Okwemi Oke also gave good account of themselves grabbing the silver medal behind Team South Africa who won the race. So, so far, Team Nigeria doing well in athletics in Zambia currently. Like, I mean, most times when we go for these tournaments, same for the Olympics, Commonwealth, and all of that, Athletics is usually one of our main strong points, and uh, good enough, you know, at under 20 level, these uh, bonds are not doing badly at all. Yes, congratulations, Tim. Yeah, the, the, uh, the competition is in two, is in two phases yeah. uh, the under 18 and under mm, 20, 20. Under 18 and under, under 20. Mm. Uh, the whole thing is Kamas yesterday. Most yes, 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 of the results we have given now is, oh. is uh, the final event yeah, yeah, yes, 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 yeah. and uh, the team Nigeria has finished second behind oh. South Africa. Oh. Nigeria won a total of 36 medals oh. uh, of 17, 17 gold, 36 medals, 17 gold, 9, 9 10, 10, 10 bronze, oh. 10, 10 silver, and, oh. 9, and, 9, 9, bronze. and 9 bronze. So, you see, to me, it's a fantastic outfit. They finished behind South Africa who won the, who won the tournament. But, uh, yes, uh, but on the on the medal table, Nigeria came second. But to me, oh. if you look at this statistically and based on the strength of our talent, I think Nigeria won this race. Won this championship in the sense that you yeah. don't want to be competing for it, just a, a, just a, a potty size of 40 or 46 athletes. Yeah. Why South Africa went to the top, went to the event with over 100 athletes. Yeah. So, somebody who came to the event with just for this and half would be to have a that that is just a, a few meter difference between them. So, it clearly shows that we dominated, we dominated this competition, but South Africa yeah. are the winner based on the numbers of more medals, but they provided more athletes. And if you have more athletes, Participated in more events, obviously, that we are going to have more medals and more more success. So, congratulations to Team Nigeria, and uh, we hope uh, we hope that the, the program for those athletes. But for me, a competition at this level is not always uh, seen. The victory is not always seen as the necessary. Yeah. What is uh, is 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 an uh, is a turning point for those athletes uh, to launch to launch themselves. Yeah. And most of these athletes have succeeded. He make he make he make a name for themselves and their family. Yeah. So it is not left for the organizer, it's not left for the authority yeah. to build on oh, this yeah. on this on this yeah, right. and to ensure that those there's a program that will keep these these boys and girls fit and to ensure that at the twin at on a twin that are eighteen they are already qualified to compete at any level. Exactly. So there's nothing wrong if you instead of people being aging athletes we have Backing on this ladder, like, give them more opportunities and, the, and prepare them for the parents' ne 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 To me, that is the ultimate, that is the desire. So, if they say, if, if they can organize, if the, the authorities, the athletic tradition, and even the sports ministry can, can, can see a program that will make sure that we take this, send these girls 
and bought out, particularly to US of America, where they have, have access to best facilities and will begin to prepare for the next week, for the next competition. All right, we move over to some football. Well, tonight in the Syria and Nigeria striker Victor Sime will have a chance to par Napoli to their first Codetto title in 33 years as they take on Udinese today. We call that during the weekend on Sunday, actually, uh, Napoli uh, had hoped that they were going to seal it up on Sunday, but it wasn't to be. But that party has shifted till today. All Napoli needs tonight is just a draw to the crown Syria champions in 33 years. And of course, Osime, who has been in fine form for uh, Napoli, will be in action tonight. Recall that he has netted 21 goals so far in this campaign. And, you know, his goals has been really, really a key in putting Napoli in this position. Yeah, congratulations in advance. Oh. Uh, one thing that he said is that they say destiny can always be delayed, yeah. but it can never be denied. Yeah. But what is what is very sure that Napoli will yeah. definitely be the champion yeah. of Sydney this season. Yeah, it can either happen today or it don't happen today, it oh. will surely That's happen. That's what it's just like at his at his the field to clinch it on yeah. Sunday. They know that okay, on to, on today again, yeah. we have a chance. Yeah. And if they fail today again, yeah. but if God forbid they lose the mind. That would also be possible to another debut. We pray that no matter how it's going to happen, they'll have opportunity to win the title today. And uh, for Victor Simeon, uh, it, is, it, is, it, is, it is quite delight. Mm. And it is a thing of joy to see that after 33 years, yeah. a Nigerian is the one superheading mm. Napoli back, exactly. to their, mm. back to their first title in yeah. three years. And they are also in the history of the club. So, congratulations. It's, 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 it's for me, I'm proud to be. I'm proud that we're seeing Nigeria. Yeah. I'm And just like Maradona had, Maradona, the Napoli name is always synonymous with Maradona. Yeah. Anything that you still have Maradona, they still have Maradona. I think in, in, in many years to come, Osimen's name will continue to be bell in Napoli. Oh. And that Osimen leave, leave Napoli this season, nobody will get to see that. After 33 years, he was the second Nigerian, the second young guy from Nigeria that oh. came as a head the soldiers of Napoli to become the crown champion of the after many years. All right, for another player that's talking about Erling Haaland, what more can be said about him? Like yesterday, he also eventually broke and extended the goal scoring record in a single Premier League season. That record previously was held by Alan Shearer and Andy Cole of United then with 34 goals. Mosala came close to it in 17 18 season, scoring 32. But yesterday, Haaland scored his. 35th goal in the Premier League season, which has never happened before in the single season, making him the highest goal scorer in the single season. And of course, at the end of the match, while they went to the dressing room, a guard of honor was given to him by the coach, the players, and the backroom staff of Man City to celebrate that feat. Well, uh, kudos to our last uh, competition. If you recall, when our was sleeping, yeah. to come to Man, to come out to Man City. Uh, there was a high profile of our team, and we call it as a web. As there are several key players of, it, of, of high reference who are who, 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 who are shown where doing something much when they get to the Premier League right. and they become ordinary players. Mm. We, we, we expect that fear for Haaland. But in the first match, I gave uh, that's a that like committee show where he couldn't click. He couldn't click. He couldn't click. He couldn't click. But all of a sudden, Haaland has to do everybody. And most of the record is no record record in the Premier League. Now. Alan Napoli, all the all the records yeah. in the Premier League now in the debut season. Yeah. Uh, it, is quite, it is quite amazing. And Alan Alan is just uh, it is just it is something else. Yeah. All right, of course, uh, some matches that went down in the EPL yesterday. Man City took on West Ham, while Liverpool took on Fulham yesterday. Well, for Man City, it was three zero, and then in the first half, I watched that game. West Ham at at the point it looked like. Some people were saying, well, maybe West Ham are about to do after the paper, but some of us knew that it was just a matter of time before it cracked. And of course, they eventually cracked and Man City put three goals past West Ham United, taking them back to the top of the table with one game at hand. Yeah, uh, obviously, I was one of those who feel that maybe sometimes West Ham, sometimes they want to just surprise somebody. <laughs> and I hope that maybe they are going to do the magic or try, try to hold Man City for yesterday. But unfortunately, well, 
Extending their so Liverpool seems seems to have rejuvenated from that early slump, winning one zero against Fulham, holding solidly to their fifth position. And as it looks, seems you know European squad is sure for Liverpool. Nah, not to just Europe, but I saw that. So I, I listened to some of their fans on the Facebook. I also not see that were that they are they are chasing mine for uh, chasing mine for a top four position. Mm -hmm. Uh, but I, you know, I was chatting with them as well. Uh, all my you need to do is just to win too much. Uh, That's win, right. One win too much from the remaining too much. And they are sure. Many fight. Many fight and they are sure of seeing their position. Yeah. But uh, the Liverpool fans will say, well, depending their case, they must give it to the end and they will have the end in the four. Mm -hmm. But Liverpool yesterday, yeah, when you say that Liverpool are here to have, we have recovered from their early mm -hmm. long start. But they have to lie on the penalty yesterday. Yeah. Who scored by a score by a Lusala to see the picture against the two hands? So it didn't really mean that they have to go by if you are still they still need more work to do. Very yeah, right. But right. forever, right. it is not better than what it is not better than compared to what they start where they start from. All right, of course, some matches will also go down to the United will be in action tonight against Brighton and Hope away Brighton always is difficult. Not to crack, but United will be hoping to win this one to at least uh, close the gap on Newcastle or perhaps go back to third position if they eventually win this one. They will uh, take it back the third position from Newcastle. Well, that's why you say uh, Brighton is always a tough team, sometimes yeah. very tricky side. Uh, where you don't expect them, they're going to disappoint you. Uh, and just like before the match, the match when they but at this time now it's very critical. Sometimes when you are when you are, either you like it or not, man is only under a under a little bit under pressure. Yeah. Because you want you are chasing something and you want you want to fulfill your ambition. So definitely in, in the situation that they have to be more be more careful. Right at the moment we don't have anything to lose, but it appears they are, they have they are still they are still their position. We take their strategy in the in the league. Yeah. Probably either they even qualify for a conference, a conference, a conference, yeah. a conference, yeah. conference yeah. league and looking like they didn't get that. All right, that much comes up 8 p.m. Nigerian time, and we will be keeping an eye on that. Hopefully, tomorrow we'll give you a complete rundown of that result and results of other sporting events as they happen across the globe. Thankful, thank you for being on today's edition of the program once again. Right, until we come your way tomorrow again with our Friday edition. Do have a wonderful time out there. My name is Afa Cho and it's bye for now. Thank you for watching. For sponsorship and advert placements, please contact 080-3688-6158. Last